What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. And today I just wanted to share an overview of the Kajabi platform. And so if, if you're interested in online business, setting up online courses and, you know, basically promoting your knowledge and building an audience and serving them well, then you might be looking for a place to actually host your courses and your maybe create a membership and a community, accept payments, right? Make the whole thing super, super seamless and easy for your customers and yourself. And Kajabi is the platform that I've been using for years to do that. And it keeps things super, super simple. So I just want to give you a nice brief overview of this platform. If you want to dive in even deeper then I have a mini series on the channel called become a Kajabi master in 50 days that you can check out that goes into the nitty gritty of all the different details. But this one, it will just be a general overview of the platform and what you can expect if you are interested in Kajabi. Okay, so the first thing you wanna take a look at is the dashboard. This is what you're gonna see as soon as you sign in and it gives you a few options you can take a look at. Opt-ins gives you the number of people who have opted into your email list over the last 30 days. This is a good metric to know because the more opt-ins you have over any given period, the better it's going to be um, because really growing your email list is the lifeblood of any good online business, right? Um, email marketing is so, so powerful. People check their email pretty much every single day and a lot of transactions get made through email. So opt-ins are really important. Comments are also great because that, that tells you who's interacting with your material, no matter what course or what membership they leave it under whatever comment it's going to show up in this area and you have the chance to go in and actually answer their questions and help them give them personalized advice which is really cool um, then we have sales which tells you how much you've made in a given period usually again within the last 30 days and again it's it's super accurate because it tracks every single purchase that comes in or goes out if you have to do a refund it keeps it up to date every single day it's really useful and then customers tells you how many people have actually purchased something in the last 30 days as well so that's the dashboard very very simple number two is the product section this is the lifeblood of kajabi this is where you can actually create and sell products so you have different products you can create you can create a course you can create a podcast you can create a community so if you want people to come together either a free community or a paid community up to you or a coaching program if you want to do like a one-on-one -on -one sort of thing um courses are probably what you're going to be focusing on if you're at least starting your business because it's more hands-off you create it once you sell it forever it's more passive right so these are the different courses that i have on my site uh, all, all of these different ones here and then this one uh, this is actually a combination of a membership which is actually a course product and i just updated every single month and i created a separate community product so you can see here in green it says community it's a separate community product which is basically like a form so if we take a look at it i'm going to preview it takes you to right here. This is actually the old community product. They've recently updated with the Vibly platform, which is a new community product, and it's included within your Kajabi plan, no matter which plan you purchase. Um, and I've done videos on this as well. So check that out if you haven't already. Just type like community 2.0 Kajabi and you'll see my thoughts on the platform. But yeah, it gives you like topics and subtopics that, that people can go to. There's the feed with the most recent post at the top. You can pin, the to uh, pin whatever post you want. Um, you can interact with your people, ask them questions, send them prompts, and people can leave the posts that they want. People can reply to them. You can heart comments. People can personal message each other by hovering over their, their profile and clicking message, right? So there's a lot of different options you can do here, but it's a really great chance for you to get your audience together, have like-minded people interact with one another, support and encourage one another, and just get feedback whenever they want. So that's really useful no matter what niche you're in. So that's the community product. Those are the products in general. And I like that it also tells you how many people you have enrolled in a certain product. Then coaching, like we said, it's like when you can set up one-on-ones with people, um, really great to have that personalized access to you and you can give them that opportunity there. Community, we just took a look at and podcasts. Um, you can run your podcast through Kajabi and it basically distributes to the different um, stations, right? Like Spotify or Apple Music and stuff like that. So let's take a look here. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and Spotify, right? So really cool. Then if we take a look at sales, this is where you're going to have your offers, which are basically your products plus a certain price. So for example, you want to sell a certain course, but you don't have a price yet. Let's say you want to sell it for 500 bucks. Well, the combination of those two is what creates your offer. Okay. So here in offers, let's just take a quick look. I'm going to look at my Chris's Composing Community product, which has the products that I'm included when they purchase. So it's the course product, which is the membership and the community product itself, which is the form we just took a look at. So they get these in their library as soon as they purchase. And then what's the price? 19 bucks a month, right? And then I have different uh, price tiers for this as well. 
and then you can set you know, uh, the custom thank you page, or you can direct them to their product library so they can access it right away or another landing page if you want to. But I just have some text thanking them for purchasing. And then I have some automations to subscribe them to another email sequence, which thanks them for joining like an onboarding sequence and then stuff like that. Okay. After that, we have coupons, obviously super useful if you want to give people a chance to get discounts on stuff. So it's really easy to create a new coupon. You just click new coupon single or bulk code. So do you want to create a number of unique uh, codes or do you want a single coupon code that anyone can use really, right? So you create your code here, percent or amount off, how, uh, what's the duration of the coupon once repeating or forever. And then you just select which offers you want to apply that coupon to. Payments keeps track of all your payments, who's paid, uh, refunds, stuff like that. And affiliates is really cool too, because um, you can set up people to affiliate promote your own products. So you can invite a certain affiliate and then, for example, you want to send them an email to say, oh, Christopher C.U. is inviting you to join their affiliate program, right? And then they can do that. And then um, they can select whatever products they want to affiliate promote. And then you would go through and set up the percentage you want them to get after that. Website is great because you can literally host your entire website on Kajabi. So that's what I do. If I type in my website, ChristopherSue.com, you can see here I have a complete website with my lead magnet at the very top, right? So if I click a button, it takes me to the landing page where then they can download uh, the lead magnet completely free and they join my email list there. Then I have a little bit about me, you know, my portfolio, uh, some buttons to show them more of what I do. And then I have some testimonials at the very bottom, making sure that it's super clear. And here you can see there's a little carousel as well. If they wanna scroll through different images, Kajabi gives you that option as well. Very cool. Here I have a very little, um, I have a little header at the very top. That takes them to my in training, like my in-depth training materials. I have my library, which is all the courses that I've purchased. So of course I have access to everything I've created, right? And then we have blog, we have contact, and then here I have another lead magnet. Just watch a free workshop. And again, it's another opt-in page that they can watch there. So very simple. I like to keep things relatively streamlined. As you can see, there's also an exit pop-up that you can add in just as a last chance for them to, you know, download your lead magnet and give them even more value, which is cool. Then pages is one of the strongest features in Kajabi because you actually get unlimited landing pages, website pages, and funnels. Uh, there, there is a limit on funnels, like how many pre-built funnels you want, but I just build mine from scratch, so I've never really used any of the funnels myself. But uh, landing pages are really cool because you can have unlimited video hosting on Wistia provided by Kajabi. So if you want to provide, let's say, certain bonuses to a course, then after they purchase, you can grant an automation to say, grant them or send them an email with this link to the signing page, which contains these bonuses. So I can upload, let's say 10 videos going over bonus material. And then after they purchase, they get an email automatically that says, oh, here are your bonuses. And then you link to that landing page. So for example, if I take a look here, I call this CWC bonuses. This is my course composing with color. So would they purchase and then they get this right away. So I upload as many videos as I want and then um, they can just click it and they can watch it. And again, it's all hosted on Wistia, so it's it's super straightforward and you can upload as much as you want, okay? And then the other thing you can do with landing pages is create your full sales pages on them as well. So if you have a certain product, you have to have details about that product when people buy, right? So you can create sales pages with this. So you can have multiple buy now buttons, have a video sales, a sales video at the very top, which is important too. I like to sprinkle in testimonials throughout, tell them about the product, what they're gonna get, and then, you know, here are some features, more testimonials, and you can have as pretty much as many sections as you want to flesh out your sales page, right? And then a guarantee, more testimonials. I have the pricing option, either monthly or annual, because this is my membership. And then that's pretty much it. So you can see how powerful landing pages are. You can use them for bonuses again. You can use them for opt-in forms, um, you know, to opt into your email list. You can use them for sales pages and much, much more. So that's a really, really powerful feature here on Kajabi. Uh, navigation and blog, I'm gonna skip over those for now. I don't personally use them too much, but you certainly can host your blog entirely on Kajabi as you wish. Now, email marketing, we talk about uh, a lot on the channel in terms of it being really powerful for growing your business. And so uh, e uh, Kajabi's email gives you email broadcasts and email sequences, and both are very easy to use. So broadcasts are as simple as just choosing a template if you have a template or you can start entirely from scratch you type in your text 
and you schedule it out to go to your people or you can send it immediately. And so here you can see in orange, these are the emails I've scheduled out. I'm launching a course next week at the time of this recording. So these are all scheduled out for the week after. And these are ones that have already been sent. And then they give you the stats of how many sends you have, like how many people you've reached, the open rates, the click through rate, and how many people have unsubscribed as well. In terms of the sequences, um, a lot of my sequences are onboarding thank you sequences. So as soon as someone purchased something, no matter what tier, I have a separate email sequence to thank them for that. And then uh, here, I'll just show you. So day zero is like immediately sends right after they opt in or after they purchase and I thank them. And then let's say day one, I give them a general overview of what the course is all about. You know, go through, introduce yourself. And then here are the bonus I promised, I, bonuses I promised, right? So it's very, very straightforward. And then you can set the time at which you want those emails to send as well, which is great. Okay. So yeah, sequences are great because they're completely automated. They're triggered when the customer takes a certain action, right? So a classic example is if someone downloads a lead magnet, then you want to subscribe them to an email sequence that then maybe delivers value over the next couple of days, but then pitches your product after that. So my flagship email sequence funnel is this one here, cinematic music creation pitch. You can see that there's over 84,000 people that have gone through it or more like 84,000 sends emails that have been sent from this funnel. And I have quite a few lead magnets and stuff that they can subscribe to, to get subscribed to this sequence, as you can see. So basically whenever this form is submitted, which is the lead magnet, then they are taken to uh, the pitch or the, the email funnel and subscribe to it. And then they can go through. So that's email campaigns and funnels and stuff. Very useful. Event is great because this allows you to set up countdown timers. Let's say on your website, if you want to say, oh, my sale is ending in two days or in an email, you can say, oh, the sales, sales ending very soon. What you can do is set up an event on the day you want the sale to end. And then you can add a timer to your email or your website and link it to that event when the sales ending, and then it will count down to that event. So really, really useful. So here I say, for example, um, composing with color, the intro price is closing on this date. This is when the intro price will expire. So in my emails, I basically linked all the timers to this event, event, um, and then they all count down to this event, right? So when it hits May 27th at uh, 12 a.m., uh, the, the timers will then hit zero, basically. And the forms is essentially where people opt in. So a basic form usually just has the name and the email address. Um, you could just have the email address too. That's totally fine. But let me quickly show you here. So one of my forms here, the giveaway raffle, I've chosen single opt-in and the fields I require are the name and the email address. And because I'm doing a giveaway, I also need their YouTube channel name as well. But of course you can add other ones if you want to. And then automations, of course, you want to tag them with certain automation, uh, certain tags to identify people create new segments, whatever you want. And then I also subscribe them to my cinematic music creation pitch email sequence and funnel that I just showed you previously. Contacts is great. Uh, contacts allows you to keep track of the different customers you have, what they've, uh, what they've purchased already, how far they've gone through certain courses and materials. Um, you can grant them new offers if you want to over deliver with something, or you can grant them a refund straight from their profile. It's very, very flexible. And then analytics finally allows you to see all the different transactions, successful ones, failed ones. You can check out net revenue, subscription metrics, opt-ins, page views, offer sold, product progress, all the stuff. Really, really cool, really useful, and just a great way to occasionally check to see how the business is doing. Um, one more thing I forgot to show you though, was the assessments. Um, this is, this gives you a great chance to create actual surveys within Kajabi that you can send to people. There's no limit to how many people can fill this out, like type form, like only hundred people can fill it out before you have to upgrade to a new plan or something within Kajabi. You can just create as many questions as you want, multiple choice, long form paragraphs, whatever. And, um, and, and then they can just go through and fill it out. So let me, let me show you one example here so I can edit questions. And then this one only really has two questions so far. I'm still working on this one. But if I add another question, I can do multiple choice, for example, right? So it's like, which income stream is the most attractive to you? And then I can add an answer. So answer number one would be passive. I can go back, add another answer, active, right? And then you can add as many as you want and then click save and it does that. So I'm just gonna remove that question there. So surveys are super, super powerful to literally just con connect and communicate with your audience 
uh, on a, in a really organic way. Um, I use these all the time when I'm building a new program. I want to see what my people really want. And it gives me a lot of intel into what they're looking for. And so it allows me to create a better product, right? So yeah, that's a very kind of just a quick overview of what the Kajabi platform is like, what you can expect inside. And again, I know this was pretty quick because there's a lot to go through, but if you have any specific questions, you can let me know. And if you're interested in trying out the platform and building your online business using Kajabi, again, it's it's the, the platform that I've been using to grow my business and scale my income for the past few years. And it's been really, really, um, really fun honestly it's really inspiring and really creative to create stuff on the platform and so i want to share that with you too so anyway they kind of they give you a 14 day free trial on their website but um if you use my link down below christophercu.com slash kajabi then you can get an extended 30 day free trial so you'll get a full month to play around with the platform and get your business started um absolutely free and i want to give you two bonus mini courses as well as a thank you for using my link below the first one is called kajabi in 30 days and so as you start your free trial you can go through these videos step by step and i'll show you how you can set up your online business really fundamentally so start making money within the first month or even quicker if you want to and that's super valuable um, if you follow those steps and put them into practice the second one is called content marketing for creatives and this is one where i show you my exact business model that i'm using to put out free content into the world and then monetize that on the back end with my online courses and my membership and my community and so on and so forth and again it allows me to scale my time scale my uh, income and grow my business while serving a lot of people along the way and it's just really really important and really valuable stuff that i want to give you again as a bonus for uh, using my link down below so i really appreciate you watching thank you so much i'll catch you in the next video and i'll see you there take care bye bye